This lesson was prepared by Andrew Lucas and Sam Drup as part of the National Science Foundation-supported Boat of Knowledge in the Science Classroom, Books. This lesson covers the topic of water quality index and sources of water pollution. This PowerPoint is to be presented in conjunction with hands-on lab activities provided with this lesson and the virtual boat game available in the App Store. Why is testing water quality important? Pause this video and discuss why you feel knowing the quality of water is important and how water quality affects your daily life. Water pollution is any change in water quality that is harmful to the organisms that live in a particular body of water or to humans that may use this body of water for recreation or consumption. There have been numerous local, state, and federal regulations that have increased the quality of surface waters in the United States. The Clean Water Act was enacted in 1972 and has since been amended. This act of Congress provided standards for allowed pollutants and permitting process that reduces the impacts of industry on surface waters. This act also provided funds to cover monitoring and enforcement costs. Water quality index includes parameters we will discuss, and a few others, to assign a grade of water body that is of interest. This is the process used by the state of Ohio to monitor the quality and health of aquatic systems. The most commonly tested water quality parameters are total suspended solids, total dissolved solids, turbidity, or water clarity, pH, conductivity, dissolved oxygen, temperature, phosphorus and nitrogen, and fecal coliform. Total suspended solids are a measure of how much sediment, algae, or other fine particulates that are suspended within the water sample and is very similar to turbidity, but measured as milligrams per liter instead of centimeters or meters. This can give an indication of problems areas of erosion. Turbidity is the measure of how transparent the water is measured at a depth in centimeters or meters. The clearer the stream or lake is, typically, the more healthy it is. Turbidity increases due to suspended solids such as soil that wash into the water body. Deforestation, construction, and agriculture can cause increases in turbidity. Another source of increased turbidity or decreased transparency is algal growth. Algal blooms caused by nutrient enrichment negatively impact water transparency. pH is a measure of water acidity or alkalinity using the concentration of hydrogen ions. The preferred range of pH for healthy aquatic systems is 6.5 to 8, but some organisms can survive in a pH as low as 4.5 or as high as 10. There are many causes of increased acidity. The two most common in the eastern United States are acid mine drainage and acid rain. Conductivity is a measure of the amount of salts that are dissolved in water, measured as microsiemens per centimeter and ranges from 40 to 800. Sources of increased specific conductance are agricultural runoff, road salts, and mining. Oxygen. Aquatic organisms are dependent on oxygen dissolved in the water. Typical dissolved oxygen levels in water are 2 to 14 milligrams per liter and fluctuate over the course of a day due to photosynthesis occurring in the stream. Reductions in dissolved oxygen occur due to increase in temperature, increases in organic matter decomposition caused by algal blooms. Temperature is a measure of how cool or warm the water is. Typical range of surface water during the summer in Ohio is 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. The most likely source of thermal pollution is power plant discharge. Rapid fluctuations in water temperature can be harmful to most aquatic organisms and make fish susceptible to disease. Nitrates, nitrites, and phosphates are all types of fertilizers. Nitrates and nitrites are a fertilizer used by plants for growth. Typically, nitrates and nitrites are below 1 milligram per liter, but can reach levels as high as 30 milligrams per liter. Excess nitrates are potentially harmful to humans and may lead to fish kills. Usually nitrogen levels peak in early spring due to snowmelt and runoff and can come from wastewater treatment facilities, le leaky septic systems, or runoff from agricultural and industry. Phosphates are also fertilizer used by plants. Phosphate levels are typically below 0.01 mg per liter, and excess phosphates also stimulate algal growth, which results in fish kills. The most common sources of phosphorus pollution are wastewater treatment facilities, decaying organic material, and agricultural runoff. Fecal coliforms are a type of bacteria that are found in the intestines of warm-blooded animals. Although most strains of this bacteria are harmless, some can cause illness. A large amount of fecal chloroform bacteria can indicate contamination from septic systems or animal farms. The Water Quality Index, or WQI, incorporates chemical, physical, and biological characteristics of water. It's used to assess the quality of water in terms of health of the ecosystem, safety for human contact, and quality of drinking water. 
WQI weighs the various measured parameters and assesses a score up to the waterway that is easily understood by everyone, regardless of background. To calculate the water quality index, WQI score, for a water sample, take the results of one of your measured parameters and use the tables to find the corresponding Q value. For instance, if we had a transparency of 25, our Q value would be 53. Once you have your Q values, you will then multiply the Q value by the weighting factor for that parameter. Once the weighted Q value for each of the measured parameters are calculated, add the values together. The sum of these values should be 0 to 100, indicating the quality of the water body you tested. We will continue this lesson by calculating the water quality index, WQI score, for the water sample provided by your teacher. In this lab, we will measure six water quality parameters. Once you have experience calculating the WQI, play the fish kill game as part of the virtual boat available at the App Store. This game will allow you to see how different sources of pollution impact water quality parameters along the Ohio River.